What's up, family? Welcome back to another legendary reaction video. Um, over here, family, we like to take a deep dive into the lyricism, understand the lyrics, and also see where the value lies so then we can see how we can use that value to apply it to our lives to continue to be great individuals. So with no further ado, family, let's get straight into the video. The events that took place yesterday are a horrifying example of political extremism in America. I believe he's talking about the uh, assassination attempt on Donald J. Trump. Um, prayers to him and his family, and um, thank, thank goodness he's safe, alive, and, you know, unfortunate situation, but let's go. Going to Raleigh, shots were fired in the temple on Donald Trump's life. They missed. Red colors. They burning the country down with their progressiveness. It started with changing what gender is. Then graduated to your racist. If you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They he said they don't want peace, they want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. Mm. I said it's a lot right there. So they want men not to be women. I mean men, but they want them to operate in a feminine phase. It seems to be more so. Run that back, run that back, bro. It started with changing what gender is, then graduated to your racist. If you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin, they don't want peace, they want skeletons. They, mm, they don't want peace, they want skeletons. And now he's talking about gender wars and all that. So basically, I feel like right now he's honing in on the chaos or how chaotic things have or are being. You know what I'm saying? From a non peaceful way. You know, things are so chaotic that it's not peaceful and it's detrimental to all of us in a country in a direction that we should not be going in um, in regards instead of uplifting each other and operating in truth and building on that. Let's continue. And to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election. They got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I used to think that the woke were misguided, but now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Thought y'all were tolerant. Thought we were equals. I thought you... And I agree with that. A lot of times when shootings happen, they don't... They don't... Innocent people always get hurt. Put it like that, man. And it's like... It's unfortunate. Every All of it. You know what I'm saying? Just violence, period. You know? And how everyone feels. Then why are y'all celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa? Okay. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom. He said, thank goodness the left can't aim. Thank goodness the right don't riot. Mm. Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom ain't afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed. I love the beat though, man. I just feel like at the end of the day, I feel like he's just saying, like, what is all this chaos for, bro? And why everybody is everybody is angry. Look, it just shows what direction we're going in as a country where individuals are mad and full of hate. And it shows how It shows how unhumane and um, how much we disvalue or we disvalue the human and the human individual. Like, a lot of people would celebrate death than celebrate life where blessings of gift, gifts that we have amongst each other uniquely being ourselves um, and being different and the blessings of our gifts and talents and stuff that we can give to the world to impact the world, to uplift each other, um, to learn from one another. Um, it's like, where's the celebration of the value that the, a human person can give, let alone the life, um, the life that they have of just being alive, but instead celebrating death and also being full of hate, um, eager to celebrate the death of someone and the killing of individuals is really, it's messed up, man. 
And it just shows the mentality of modern society today, man. Try to lock him up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed. Told us trust the science, but it never made sense to me. Why would we put all our trust in the enemy? Millions of people are hooked on amphetamines. They're making billions on untested remedies. Borders are open. So now he's saying, basically, look. And as he's talking about the addictions, you know, drug addictions, and a lot of times the, the OPI crisis, you know, those things that are overtaken also in regards to the mentality that we're having in our society is really, it's like a path of destruction. Mind cluttered with substance, let alone having a standpoint of hate in regards of eagerness to take human life. And if human life is not taken, hate is being portrayed energy-wise and given out and express it's, 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 it's sad man people with felonies fighting can't stop them he don't have the energy y'all want to kill the man trying to fight for a better tomorrow by making them kennedy i tried to give y'all a chance like maybe the left isn't nuts i was wrong because y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person i know said you were all along want to protest go hard want to burn flags go off but y'all are so triggered that you're pulling triggers at presidents y'all the terrorists when you're armed thank god the left can't aim thank god the right don't riot welcome to the home of the brave freedom ain't afraid of violence you wish you was dying bitch you missed mm. yeah i ain't gonna get into political stance you know i'm just more talking about we gotta get better i feel like that's the value within this song it's not about a Democrat or Republican. It's about unity and standing for what's right and the truth. And the issue is the former president and president, you know, Donald Trump, it's never good. To, it's never a good thing to take a life, let alone the blessing of him, his family, and just like all of us, as we're a blessing to each other in a positive way because human life, it's so valuable because then the value that can be given and poured into each other, let alone poured into this world, brings the beauty of how inspirational and how amazing we can be in it and, and have been at one point as a country. But it just shows us where we were and how far we came and we have to I feel like this song creates dialogue. And sometimes we gotta have these uncomfortable conversations to realize the issue, to create dialogue, so then the dialogue turns into a transformative, uplifting, positive change. And I feel like this what this song expresses. And sometimes we gotta be uncomfortable, uncomfortable being uncomfortable to have those conversations, to go in the right direction and change the direct trajectory of this country and mindsets and mentality and speak on issues. For example, like the migrant crisis, illegals coming over, you know, in the debate, I didn't really hear much about that. But it's just issues in regards of what's right was right and what's wrong was wrong. And, you know, on top of the migrant crisis, you know, migrant illegals coming over and harming individuals that are citizens in the country. That's never a good thing. That's on top of the violence of how human life is not valued as much anymore, and it's sad, you know? So, yeah, man, let's continue. Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane. Bitch, you missed. There's no one else you can blame. Try to lock him up in a cage. Now you trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed. Mm. Bro, I like the beat. It's catchy. Speaks a lot of volumes. Um, the song, like I said, family. What's you guys take on the song? Um, mine is centered around the loss of the value of human life. Um, it's definitely we lost. We lost how valuable human life can be. It's not even embraced or cherished as it used to be, and. Also, it's not about 
Democrat or Republican or your political stance. It's more about how the division and being divided instead of having creating instead of creating positive um, conversations, let alone dialogue, to um come to understand for what's right and what's wrong for the betterment of all of us, our communities, um, us individually, um, the country. And um, if we keep being ignorant and turning our faces and everyone being so consumed in a self-interest, it doesn't help the betterment of the country, um, communities, loved ones, families. It doesn't help the betterment for no one. And I feel like that's the viable message, and that's my take on this. Comment down below yours. And I hope and hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, thankfully, again, prayers out to Donald J. Trump and his family. And I'm great, happily glad to see he's still alive. You know, it's never and, and rest in peace to the honorable, courageous fireman who died shielding his family with his own body. Um, very traumatic situation. Um, man, and so many questions we can ask. You know, how did the individual get that close to be on a high rise? And was it a setup? Was it that? So many conspiracy theories um, that can take from that. But in reality is, thankfully, the former president, President Donald Trump, is alive. Um, so no further ado, family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.